Welcome back to Daybreak. It is 842 this morning when old is new. 2001 Space A Space Odyssey was released 50 years ago. Now this. Dave, do you mind if I ask you a personal question? No, not at all. I've wondered whether you might be having some second thoughts about the mission. How do you mean? Rumors about something being dug up on the moon. I never gave these stories much credence, but particularly in view of some of the other things that have happened, I find them difficult to put out of my mind. Open the pod bay doors, please, Hal. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What are you talking about, Hal? This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Creeped out yeah. starting Sunday. <laughs> I'm so excited. I got goosebumps. Oh. So, obviously, this is all the topic of our conversation on Great Day TV with Patty Spitler. And you brought Craig Mintz. I did. Craig is the manager of the IMAX. And this yep. is the way to see this movie. It's coming out, re released. I can't believe it's been 50 years ago. And I remember seeing it when I was a little, it didn't see it when it first came out, I was a little too young then, uh, not quite the right age to go, but then later and I was like, what the heck did I see? It's so eerie and it changed the way films, sci-fi films were made forever. So Craig, talk to Drew and tell her about the movie. And we're laughing because yeah, Drew yeah. is paying so close attention to you. Oh, like, hello, what do hello. you have to say to us Tell me today? about this movie, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, what can I say about 2001? It's a, a gorgeously shot Stanley Kubrick's kind of masterpiece being re-released in IMAX. Uh, on its 50th anniversary wow. and kind of in addition to that like we're actually one of five cities that are actually showing it in IMAX film Whoa. so wow. it's it is full frame IMAX film what an opportunity for yes. film buffs I yes. mean this is something that's on everyone's list right Correct. and then to have an opportunity to see it in this format is unparalleled you may never get a chance to do it again Wowzer! so when does that happen it starts next Friday September 7th and it runs for one week only so it's a very short window yeah. to get your tickets, which tickets are on sale right now at our website, uh, and going very quickly. But it is kind of the pinnacle of not only film, but the, the film viewing experience for it. And you have my attention. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is something you really recommend people get tickets in advance yes. then. Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah. Think oh, yeah. We have people driving out. from Chicago, Cincinnati, oh, Louisville just to see this presentation. So uh, don't sit on it. Don't wait. Get your tickets while you can. You can reserve seats, so you actually get to pick your seats now. Oh, very uh, cool. So it's, it's no fuss, no muss. Sounds amazing. It's, yeah. it's, I got to go see it again. It's just, and when you leave, you're thinking, well, now what does this mean? Because Kubrick was very, very closed in that he didn't, first off, he was very controlling. He wanted to control everything on the set. Yeah. And the other thing is he didn't want to talk about what his movies meant. He wanted you to figure it out. So maybe we'll have you back for another discussion. A post, a post screening post discussion about it. I mean, it sounds like, because you have a lot of, you know, historical yeah. information on that movie, and we were talking in the commercial break about it. So you're a wealth of knowledge on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of great stories behind 2001. Well, we appreciate you coming in and getting well, us, for me. I mean, piquing our interest in going to IMAX. Yes, Patty. And, and Pet Pals She's raising her hand. I can't see you. I'll raise my hand. <laughs> Pet Pals TV is on at 10 o'clock today. We have Jay Howard, race car driver, who uh, is racing for one cure to find the cure for cancer for pets and people. And also the First Lady of Indiana, Janet Holcomb, has Henry. And she says when she goes out in public, people say, here, can I have a picture? And they want a picture With of Henry. With Henry. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's <laughs> a famous good. dog now. All right, guys, thanks so much for again for coming in this morning. And Thank Stewie, you. for your undivided attention. <laughs>